We're loom knitting. So it's probably one of the oldest forms of, of making crafts that are around. Um, and it's very, a lot of people of my age probably and older, when we were little, we had a spool that had like five, four or five pegs in it, we'd make these long cords with it. Well, this is just an upgrade to that. This is on a 36 peg loom, is what we usually make most of our hats for our kids on. And um, the nice thing about it is it's easy. It's, um, it's just wrapping a peg and you pull one piece of yarn over the other piece of yarn. Um, I call it sort of a mindless activity. After you've done uh, quite a few, you can just, um, you don't have to think about it a lot. It's like, I don't have to follow a pattern. I don't have to do anything like that. It's, it's just a nice, relaxing activity. And it's, uh, for a lot of people are looking for something to keep their hands busy. Um, this fills that need. And so, what are you all making hats for? Um, I started a project in 2011 called Grant County Hat Project, mm -hmm. and my goal was to put hats on children that need something warm on their head in the wintertime, especially considering where we live. Mm -hmm. And so I started it as a way to keep myself busy, mm -hmm. and then it w was like, who can um, help? And so I reached out to Park Place Apartments probably in 2013. Um, and they had a group that was interested and we you know we've expanded from them and they've helped me to reach uh, we make anywhere from probably 400 to 600 hats a year um, we do have a little bit farther reach I ha have um, my sister lives in Iowa and she helps me make hats and and her sister-in-law in Dubuque helps me make hats and and so it's a you know it's a water wider range than just here, but um, yeah, and then our hats go to Grant County uh, Holiday Project, and they're distributed with the coats, and that's a uh, project will be coming up shortly. And, and uh, so um, we also have given hats in the past to Clarity Clinic in here in town. Here we do some baby hats for them, um, and we've also um, done it for Platteville Holiday Project that we've donated hats there. Yeah, so we're looking. We're our target market market is kids. We're looking to get you know hats on kids, and, and as you all know, if you have children. They have a tendency to lose their hands sometimes too, so it's like they don't always keep it from year to year, or they grow, so or their coat color changes and they want something different. They just, you know, uh, would like to do something like that. So we're open to the public. Whoever would like to come and loom with us, learn how to loom. Um, I do have have looms that I start people out on uh, for a, a, a small fee, and then. Um, yeah, if they'd like to come. We do um, always need yarn. Um, so if people have skeins of yarn that they're not using, we would be more than happy to take those off your hands. So because everything that we do is made with donated yarn.